guys, so I want to come on cam and go over or share with you guys some things that I purchased over the last two weeks, you know, with Christmas and all that. So um, I'm going to break this up with, uh, I don't know, beauty products, makeup, and clothes. So let's start off with the clothes. I picked up, one of the things I picked up was this cute cardigan. You can see here, it's a, it's a um, cheetah print. Yeah, and it's a large, but that large looks a little big see how big that is it looks like extra large i probably could have fit in the medium but you know target once you wash it it'll be a large definitely a large but this is cute this is like twenty dollars it wasn't on sale it's twenty dollars so i thought this was really cute and thin um and i could wear it for a couple of more days here in phoenix no probably up until like mid-february honestly so i got that then I got this dress, which when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's a cute color, very winterish. And then I put it on. I was like, oh, this is really cute. This dress was on sale for $13, original around $20. And this is a sheath style dress. And I know it looks wide. Y'all know it looks wide as hell. But um, it's a sheath. But the reason why I like this dress are the details. See how the, the very clean lines, I like that and it matches my nails. Uh, I like that it's stretchy, forgiving. It has this cotton uh, thick border trim, I mean, around the, the uh, sleeves here or the short sleeve. I'm gonna pair it with this belt and I think I may do an outfit of the day that day because it's very cute. Pair with some black tights and some tuxedo style um shoes so this is very very cute $13 so that's winning so let's go right into some of the stuff I bought sorry y'all so let's do makeup so if you saw my Christmas y'all the coloring on this video is getting funny I don't like that that okay I don't know um if you saw my Christmas video you saw that I got the Urban Decay Basics palette for Christmas Naked Basics 1. There's 1 and 2 now. My, I got the 1s. So I'll show you what that looks like. And I've worn this twice already. Um, so I'll show you those colors. Um, I'm glad I got the Basics. I don't like this um, for my skin tone. This will probably be better on someone who is about two shades lighter than me. Because I'm chocolate. Y'all see me. Yeah, I'm not really feeling this. Um, I could probably use the Naked 2 in the Faint colors. You see on the back, the Naked 2 in the Faint. That's about it. I really don't care for this palette. My Comfort Zone by Wet n Wild does a better neutral, even though it's a little shimmery. Uh, and this is matte, which is why I wanted it. But you live and you learn. What else with makeup? I bought this Jordana eyebrow pencil. The rest of the stuff is mostly off of Amazon. Eyebrow pencil because I saw a young lady. I forgot her name. What is her name? She's from the islands. Very, very pretty makeup out artist. I'll put her name below. And she does her eyebrows with this dark brown um, eyebrow pencil. And it does a great job, y'all. I know I'm not going to try to do something here, but, but I just want you to see... You see that? You see that? Just that quick. And this is what my normal brow looks like. So, y'all, unfortunately, let me try to do this one real quick. Yeah. See, it's it's not perfect because and I'm not doing the concealer. And um, normally I would do a gradient effect. But this is on point And it was less than five bucks. Jordana. Okay? So, check it out, y'all. I know my eyebrows looking a little little weird. Um, continuing on in the makeup. Let me, I have everything in this box, y'all. From my primer... I always use the Jumbo Milk Pencil from NYX, so I ordered another one of those. And this was expensive. It was like $6.95. I'm like, but it lasts for a long time, okay? So those are the only makeup um, thingamajigs I got. Um, continuing on with my Amazon.com order, I ordered the Brazilian Carrington Mask by Nunat. I love this stuff. It's it's cheap. It's like under $7 and it's 17.6 ounces. This stuff will last me for about 
for washes, for deep conditioners, okay? If if you have um, shorter hair, it'll clearly it'll last you longer. I love this stuff. I live for this stuff. I usually mix it with some other products, but I absolutely love this particular product. And I know there's a glare because it has a um, plastic seal on it, but you can see there. It's the Brazilian Keratin um, by Nunat. Love, love, love. You can find it on Amazon. Along with that curly hair intensive, intensive hair mask, you can find that on Amazon and also through Walgreens. That is only like four bucks and it is awesome. It's better than this one. Um, I also got, this is more beauty, African Black Soap by Shea Moisture. This is like $3.95 on Amazon. I have some black soap. I use black soap to clean my, clean my face. <clears throat> the black soap I have, I purchased from Whole Foods and it was like three for five dollars and the black soap is more of this color is not black it's not dark and it I noticed that it's not really hasn't really been helping me as much so that's really not gonna work for me and that's why I purchased this so I'll see how this works um I also I also got this aloe vera juice um, I use this I'm gonna be using this for several different Things actually um, this is going to be going into my leave-in conditioner I'm also going to be adding two tablespoons to my conditioner when I co-wash but I'm also going to make a aloe vera wash for my baby and I'll probably be some so in addition to these products, I also purchased a 18 ounce uh, block of shea butter, raw shea butter. I haven't gotten it yet. I don't know what's taking so long, but um, I live by shea butter. I use shea butter for uh, my own body cream, hair products, clearly. And then um, my baby has, has eczema. He has horrible eczema, you guys. And so the only thing I've I've noticed that really helps him is a mixture of shea butter and some moisturizing lotions. I'm actually thinking I'm going to make a separate video on how I make my um, eczema cream for him. The shea butter is what's really what really helps him a lot. I just lather it on and I use so much that I accidentally, I ran out um, not too long ago. I still have some, but it's mostly lotion, whereas I wanted more shea butter and like 25% lotion, if that makes sense, okay? Anyway, so along with all of that, um, if you saw my Christmas video, that crazy Christmas video, I bought this African Black Soap Shampoo at Walgreens. Did y'all see how those prices were? That's how it is here sometimes. That's why I be broke, because I buy hair products, and I buy a lot of them. So this was only $2.97, $2.98. I don't think I've used their... Um, their African black soap line. So ironically, I got this on, you know, on Amazon too. So I'm excited to use this shampoo. Okay. So the day before Christmas, I was at, um, what was it? Fry's grocery store. And I went by their hair care section. I mean, you have to, there may be a sale and I'm glad I did because I found the Echo style hair gel. Boop, boop, boop. So these were two for four. This is all they had because if they had more, I definitely would have bought more. So I'm definitely, definitely, definitely am going to use these more than likely for a wash and go. So upcoming videos, I will be reviewing two products coming up. Again, um, I will be reviewing the Nothing But Cleansing Conditioner. I've already tried it once, and I wasn't that impressed. But I'm going to try it again. I'm going to give it another shot, um, and I'll come on and do a formal review of this product. Since I did buy some more shampoo, I will go ahead and review the African Black Soap uh, Shampoo by Shea Moisture. So I'm really excited about this, so I will take the time to do a proper review. As far as tutorials go, since I have this gel, and you guys have not seen my updated um, wash and go, it's a little hard to do because my hair is soaking wet when I do a wash and go, okay? I will be doing a review on a wash and go, okay? I have 4C, 4B hair, or I should say 4B, 4C hair. The front is 4B. This area is 4B, but that back child, that back is 4D, E, F, G, H. The back is definitely 4C. So you will see that when my hair is wet and I'm applying the gel. Hopefully this will come out right for this wash and go on camera, y'all. Um, what else? Um, oh, the Jumbo Perm Rock set. I went ahead and went back to Sally's and bought the orange. So I'll be doing uh, these tangerine color and the orange. I think I have about 45 Perm Rocks. So I will be doing a Perm Rock set, okay? The only other style tutorial I'm thinking about doing is a three strand twist. I'm a little iffy about that because I did try it off camera and got a little 
confused, but I'm going to try it on camera and we're going to see how it work. Um, what else? Um, I would like to do more outfit of the days, but I want them to be a little bit more put together, meaning having more information in the description box about what I'm wearing and where I got it from instead of just coming on on a whim and just taping. Um, so once I, I get a format down of that, I will definitely be putting out more outfit of the day outfit of the day uh, videos probably once every two weeks so be on the lookout for those videos within the next four or five weeks everyone um last but not least once I get to 3,000 subscribers I believe I'm at like 2,600 um I will be having a giveaway I do believe in you know and showing my appreciation toward my subscribers and I do appreciate you guys so definitely be doing a giveaway with spring coming up at least spring coming up for me with spring coming up, I want to do something makeup-ish slash jewelry type of thing. It doesn't always have to be about hair, okay? Even though we, we try to make it all about hair. But that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you, as always, to all of my new subscribers. Bye.